Hi friends, this week we're gonna do some work with pumpkins. We've been learning all about plants and animals and everything that they need to stay alive. But this week we're gonna focus a little bit more on how our pumpkin grows from a little tiny seed into a big pumpkin or some of them are small pumpkins, aren't they? So when you look at the cover of our book, we see that there's drawings on it, illustrations. Even though you see some drawings and some illustrations, this is a book that we can learn when we read it, and we're gonna learn all about pumpkins. So even though we don't see photographs, like in our other animal and plant books, we're still gonna learn all about pumpkins. So our story is called From Seed to Pumpkin by Wendy Pfeffer, illustrated by James Graham Hale. There's our cover, and look, our title page, From Seed to Pumpkin. Didn't put a picture though. Look at that. See the bottom, the bee bzzz. There's a green pumpkin. Oh, cause that's our title page. Look at that, from seed to pumpkin. There's a little boy. Pumpkin seeds. Have anyone plant pumpkins at their house? You buy the pumpkin seeds at the store, or you can keep them out of this year's pumpkin and plant them next year. When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant, just like our seeds in the window. Underground, covered with dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. As plants get bigger, the seeds crack open, stems sprout up, roots grow down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes the way juice goes up a straw. Let's see, we talked about that. In less than two weeks from planting time, green shoots poke up through the earth. The shoots grow in tiny, into tiny seedlings. Two leaves called seed leaves, see them? Two leaves called seed leaves, uncurl on each stem. They grow, they reach up toward the sun. So see the two leaves? And then they reach up toward the sun. Sunlight gives these leaves energy to make food. Like us, plants need food to grow. But green plants do not eat food as we do. Their leaves make it. To make food, plants need light, water, and air. Leaves catch the sunlight, roots soak up rainwater, and little openings in the leaves let air in. Using energy from the sun, the leaves mix the air and the water from the soil to make sugar. This feeds the plant. Wow, isn't that cool? It can make its own food. Soon, broad prickly leaves with jagged edges unfold on the stems. The new leaves are rough and prickly, but the seed leaves are smooth and rounded. Remember these seed leaves were the first ones. Now the new ones are rough and prickly. The seed leaves dry up. Now the new leaves make food for the pumpkin plant. See, the original two leaves are gone now. They died off. But look at all these new leaves the pumpkin's gonna use to make food. I guess it's not really a pumpkin yet. Each pumpkin stem has many sets of tubes. One tube in each set takes water from the soil up to the leaves so they can make sugar. The other tube in each sends the water back down so the pumpkin can grow. The days grow warmer the farmer tends the pumpkin patch to keep weeds out. Weeds take water from the soil. Pumpkin plants need that water to grow. Pumpkin plants don't stand up tall. As the stems grow longer, they sprawl all over the ground. So see, they don't grow up tall. They grow, they vine out. Before long, twisted, tangled vines cover the pumpkin patch. Soon, flower buds appear on the vines. After each bud opens, its orange petals grow bigger and bigger. They look like bright orange umbrellas. Look at the flowers. Look at these. During the heat of the day, the flowers close. 
They open again during the cool nights and early mornings. The bright orange flowers attract swarms of bees. The bees buzz about carrying yellow pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. Now pumpkins can grow. So the pumpkins need the bees to help them take things from one flower to the next. The petals wither away where the flowers bloomed, tiny hard fruits begin to grow. So see, this is where the flower was. And then look at, it's turning in to a pumpkin. See it? Hundreds of these cling to the vines. The days grow hot all summer, excuse me, all summer the warm sun and the cool rain helps the tiny fruits grow larger and larger. So look at, we start with a little pumpkin and look at them, they're getting bigger and bigger. Look at that one, it's huge. Soon summer is over. The corn stalks next to the pumpkin patch turn brown. Leaves on the trees turn red, orange, and yellow. Pumpkins change color too. As they ripen, they change from green to yellow, then orange. Isn't that cool? So they go from green to yellow to orange. In just four months, small, flat, white pumpkin seeds have grown into the big, fat, orange pumpkins. The pumpkins are ripe and round with lumps and bumps. They come in all sizes and shapes, and they're all waiting in the autumn sun. Look at all the pumpkins that grew in the pumpkin patch. Some pumpkins will be carved into jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Some will be baked into pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. Yum. Colorful leaves turn brown. Winter begins to blow and soon the trees are bare. The farmer looks out over the pumpkin patch where only a few dead vines remain. Look at winter time, no more pumpkins. But when spring warm, spring winds warm the earth once again, he will plant hundreds of pumpkin seeds and once again, they will grow from seed to pumpkin. And then look, it gives us some recipes here to make pumpkin seeds. And then we just have the bees again. I hope you enjoyed our story and you learned all about how a pumpkin grows from a seed into a pumpkin. Have a great day, friends.